connections. Today we're doing a new song called The Way by Pat Barrett. No, let's just sing it. <laughs> we're doing a new song by Pat Barrett. It's called The Way. It's a very simple song, but also very powerful in the words. Um, we had to find scriptures that went with the songs that we were playing or singing. And um, even though there were many songs or many verses that went with this song, uh, I think the most known and simple one is John 14, 6. It says, Jesus told them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Um, this was, uh, it's, it's very simple, but it's, it's uh, very complicated because not a lot of people can understand or comprehend that the only way to get through God is through Jesus. And let's just sing the song and uh, you'll understand.
see a victory. We know this one. I've said it many times already. And um, the verse that this song reminds me most about is in 1 John chapter 4 or chapter 5, verses 4 and 5. It says, For whoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Um, you know, as a, as a son of God or as a daughter of God, um, the war has already been won. You know, the, we already know the end result. Uh, we have full victory in Christ. So, um, sing this song with us. Thank you. 
out of Psalms 18, 118, that kind of goes along with the song before we finish it. And uh, this song is a song of victory, and it's a song of confidence. And uh, I love the way that David has such confidence in God and in the book of Psalms. It's kind of a long chapter, but I'm just going to read it. It says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. Let all Israel repeat, His faithful love endures forever. Let Aaron's descendants, the priests, repeat, His faithful love endures forever. Let all who fear the Lord repeat, His faithful love endures forever. In my distress, I prayed to the Lord, and the Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is for me, so I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? Yes, the Lord is for me. He will help me. I will look in triumph at those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Through no hostile nations surround me, I destroyed them all with the authority of the Lord. Yes, they surrounded and attacked me, but I destroyed them all with the authority of the Lord. They swarmed around me like bees. They, they blazed against me like a crackling fire, but I destroyed them all with the authority of the Lord. My enemies did their best to kill me, but the Lord rescued me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. Songs of joy and victory are sung in the camp of the godly. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. The strong right arm of the Lord is raised in triumph. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. I will not die, instead I will live to tell what the Lord has done. The Lord has punished me severely, but He did not let me die. Open for me the gates where the righteous enter, and I will go in and thank the Lord. These gates lead to the presence of the Lord, and the godly enter there. I thank you for answering my prayer and giving me victory. It's a beautiful psalm of David. In his whole life, he's experienced God's victory in his life, and he developed this kind of confidence that he can walk with in life. And we can walk with that same kind of confidence. For those of us who know that God is for us, and He's not against us, that He's on our side, there's really nothing for us to fear. And so when we sing the song, we can sing the song with, with victory, we can sing it with joy, because the Lord is our song, and He's our confidence. So let's just sing that last um, part of the song, the, the bridge, and let's sing that with, with confidence.
Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you for allowing us to worship with you and for allowing us to worship with those online, that you be with them for the rest of their week that's going to come up, and you protect them and their families. And for those that are sick with the coronavirus, that you heal them and be with them as well. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm ready. Thanks. Amen. Good night, America. Good night, Santiago. Santiago.